If you just joined us, this is Good Morning Abuja coming to you from the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. Moving on on the program, I have my second guest with me, and together I'll be talking about moving the nation's economy forward. Who do I have here? I have with me the name Waribo Uranta. He is the associate editor, VIP Magazine Abuja. You're welcome to Good Morning Abuja. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you. So, I said we're looking at uh, moving the nation's economy forward. So what is it about the economy? How what measures can can be taken to actually improve the economy? Yes, first and foremost, as I've always said, we need to stabilize the security in the northern part of the country. And when it comes to the era of banditry, insurgency, and all those kind of uh, security that have insurgency that threaten the nation's economy, we have to make sure that we put in place strong security in the north. Okay. And also in the maritime area, because without security, you can't even talk about mm. talk about our developed economy, nation's economy. So when you have economy, security in the northern part of the country, you have security in the waterways, you also have inland security. Mm. I think that will go a long way to tell the investors, the foreign uh, uh, foreign organizations, that yes, we are ready for investors. Mm -hmm. That's number one thing. When you have a stable in security, you want to look at the other critical sectors mm. of the economy, mm. like security, okay. infrastructure, mm. and power. Those are the three critical sectors of every nation's economy. Mm -hmm. If you don't have electricity, even mm -hmm. in the communities, nothing can work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because when you have electricity, you have the power, uh, you have the, 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 security, the security there on ground, mm -hmm. you have the infrastructure, where people can talk about the rail system, mm -hmm. you can travel from Medugri down to Calabar, mm -hmm. you can move from Lagos down to Medugri, you know, people can take their goods across, and you have the deep sea ports. Okay. Not only in Lagos, mm. we have Bonnie Deep Sea Port proposed up to today. Okay. We have Ibom Deep Sea Port and we look at the dry ports in the north. Mm. And we also look at the commercial side of the, and trade, international market. Mm. These are the areas that we need to look at, not forgetting the education sector. Mm -hmm. Where is the big growth of every child? Mm. Because by the time these out of school children are back to school, mm. that means that we have a future. Mm -hmm. Because without education, other sectors are going to be devoted. Who are going to man them? Mm. People must have the intellectuals to be part of what they are doing. Yeah, okay. So we have a lot of things to do in the country, mm. even in the health sector. Mm. That is also an area that we need to improve on. Mm -hmm. That will draw in investors. So critically, when you look at the nation today, I would say, well, well, we can maybe we have gotten to above average performance. Mm. But for me, I'm not satisfied mm -hmm. because there are a lot of rooms that have been left there. There are a lot of loopholes. Mm. Like if you look at uh, Ajakuta Steel mm. since 1980 today, and it's still lying fallow. Mm. That place alone can empower more than 500,000 Nigerians. That indirectly mm. go to Ikorabas in Akwa. So you see, Askon is lying fallow. Mm. There are a lot of ailing industries. There are a lot of industries lying fallow. And we talk about creating employment. How do you create employment when the industries are not working? Mm. This place must be working before you talk of employing people. Mm -hmm. The issue of uh, maybe. Training and empowerment of people, like just mm. part and part. I, I, I was going to say that, like, what, what, what happens to um, entrepreneurship? Like, people going into, you don't have to wait for white collar jobs, you mm. just need um, to learn a skill, learn a trade, and something. What happened? What, what was the place of that? What of, when you talk of our learning trade, those are temporary means of creating jobs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because when you keep training people, people mm. don't have where to survive, it becomes a problem. Do you have the fund to give all of them the tools to? Mm. What about the revenue to the government? I know how much a Jakarta was supposed to be giving the Nigerian government for now. Mm -hmm. All the ailing industries. I know how much the rail system, the cargo airport. By now, Nigeria is supposed to be talking about at least six cargo airports mm. in six geopolitical zones. Mm -hmm. These are money spinning. Mm -hmm. You go to the area of culture and tourism. We mm -hmm. have all of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of diversity of when it comes to tourism and fa fashion and the rest of the things. So mm -hmm. we, are have, we are missing some, something somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay. And we have to wake up. It's not all about the presidency. The governors also have to wake up. Mm -hmm. They have to review their policies, yeah. even at the grassroots. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that too. Like, what, what are those policies, government policies, that could actually help to improve our economy? Yes, of course. Like maybe within the states and the federation, when you are talking about uh, maybe investors coming in to invest in your country, you have to also give them the the to them, mm -hmm. give them the incentives, maybe like a three years a tax-free holiday for them. Maybe as government, you have to provide them with land. Mm -hmm. They make sure that the certification, the certification are not much for them. Mm -hmm. Remember, most of these investors don't come with all their money. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they take loans and mm -hmm. they're coming to take risks. So you have to encourage them to survive. Mm -hmm. So the policies must be very fair. Let the investors, whether in the country, outside the countries, mm -hmm. 
mm. understand where they are going to put their money, mm -hmm. what is due to government, mm. and what is due to them, mm. and what is due to the community. Mm. It, everything will move. Okay. You see, that is why sometimes I commend the, the president of the nation today. He has experience. Mm. I'm not trying to promote him, mm. but I'm trying to be fair because I've seen what they have done in the past 100 years. Forget about the issue of subsidy. Is that something oh, yeah, that has been there okay. for very long? Even if Peter Obi was to be here, or to go back, they already plan to remove subsidy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they plan to do their own, but for me, the president has come in with a good vision to the nation. Mm -hmm. When he was a governor, he succeeded. Mm -hmm. When he was a federal house member, if you go back the decades ago, he succeeded. Mm -hmm. And as the king's maker now, the, 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 the president of the country, you can see the way he's trying to move the nation forward. We need this industry to revive. Okay. We need to go back to the land. Mm. What President Buhari introduced to us was not a bad thing. It was a good idea. Let's go back to the land. Mm. The population of grown more than we depending on oil. Mm. We have to stabilize this economy. Mm. And you can't stabilize the economy without agricultural investment. Yeah. We cannot be buying everything. Mm. We cannot be importing everything. Mm. How will the dollar improve? Mm -hmm. When you are buying and importing everything, we must have something to go and sell. Mm -hmm. If 75% of what makes our economy, yearly budget, is from us, it simply means our, our naira will be much, almost be equal to dollar. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. So those are the things that we need to do. Okay, so you mentioned agriculture. Looking at agriculture now, how far so far? Because since... Um, you mentioned President Buhari introduced it, he said we should go back to farming and all that, and then the economy started picking up, like most people started going into farming and all that. How far so far? Well, to me, the problem we are having is that uh, we don't have a lot of orientation okay. for people in the communities. Mm. And at the same time, I have to be very plain with you, most of our state governors that I present or the past have not really done well. Mm. Because I keep telling people that the neck of the government, the government, mm. is from the state government. Mm -hmm. State governors have a lot of rule to play to mm -hmm. move these decisions forward. Mm. They take almost all the budget from the government. I'm just telling the truth. Federal government only good there to implement. Mm -hmm. Sorry, to complement what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Because they are the ones that will deepen this grass of development. They work hand in hand with the local government chairman. Mm. Okay, if you are a sitting governor in your state, you alliance with the local government chairman mm. and say, okay, look, I need provision for in the land in each of the local government mm. for farm produce, for agricultural purpose. Imagine if all the local government, 774 local government in Nigeria mm. are producing what we eat, how we be hungry. Mm. What the Federal Ministry of Agriculture or now the other agencies need to do is just to go and complement what they do. Mm. Look at Benue State, for example. Benue State, we say the food basket of the nation. Benue. You can't go to Benue State and find a massive farmland either being owned by government or any private sector in the country. Okay. How can you move forward? Go to Niger State, we have the, it's one of the states that have one of the largest landmass. What are we doing there? Instead, that place is just there for wicked people to use it to kidnap and molest people everywhere. Go to Zamfara State, go to Medigree. The mineral resources alone in Zamfara State and in, in Borno State is the loan, is enough to run the economy of the 19 northern states. Okay, looking at the educational sector now, young ones coming up and all that, instead of, um, it's, it's an avenue to actually make the young ones coming to actually know that you do not have to wait for white collar jobs, you have to do something. And I think um, at that level, we will be have um, subjects that actually open their eyes to learning, to learning skill, um, skill acquisition, a trade or something in form of um, um, subject that would make them know, okay, there are other things that you can actually do to put food on your table, not necessarily waiting for a white collar job. Uh, well, uh, to me, let me, take, let me just take out because of uh, what we have on ground. Mm. Recent, of, of recent, we were supposed to have a book launch in Bida, in Niger State, but because of it comes at, at the same time with the mm. ex who based 20 years on the truth, we have to post it on the 25th of November. The problem is that we are forgotten about history in this country. Mm -hmm. History is part and parcel of education. And any child that doesn't know his no, but own history. history. Has been reintroduced into the system. No, you have been introduced, but you have not really gone to the grassroots. Okay. Children, if you go to post primary and secondary school, mm -hmm. uh, children cannot really tell you. Most of them cannot even tell you about the history of their land. Mm -hmm. So we need to go back and make sure that their children know the history of their nation. Mm -hmm the history of the economy, mm. the history of their community, mm. the history of how things come to bed. What I'm trying to say in any sense is that 
when people talk when people talk about uh, maybe a oh, book launch they think it's all about making it's not all about making money like what we are going to do in Bida now we are trying to review the history of one of the greatest FCNP in history okay. an exception of going out in English languages we are going to translate it in house and Nupe languages so that people in the north can use to educate themselves mm. so we are taking it from one way to the other if you go to uh, Subek or Federal Ministry of Education, they will tell you we have more up to, is it 400 something thousand, 400 something thousand out of school children? Mm. And these children have to go back to school. Mm. And we have to build classroom blocks. Mm. We have to do a lot of things to make sure these children are back to, where are their libraries? In Abuja, is the National Library working? Mm. It's not all about using phone to do, if you go to schools now, children are using phones when they are, when they are sitting exams. Mm. That's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to use your brand. Mm. If I have my way, most of this uh, aggression they are giving to private schools, I will not do it. Mm. Anybody that wants to run a private nursery or secondary school, you must have the required document. The most policy laid on ground. Mm. You must have what it takes to run a primary secondary school. So you cannot just pack people, there's no sports, there's no recreation, there's no library, and you call it prim pri private school. Mm. You just you want to make money. Mm. So we have to look at our education system mm -hmm. from tertiary institution. To post primary and secondary school to the to the, the lower level, mm -hmm. we have to make sure that people are well educated. When your people are well educated, the future is bright. Mm -hmm. Once the job is being provided for them. Mm -hmm. So, um, so so far, some of the sectors, which other sector has been neglected? Because I know moving the economy um, forward, you, you need to look at um, some areas that are actually that is our strength in this country. So, looking at tourism, you mentioned that earlier, um, culture and tourism. It's um, uh, another tool of um, a sector that can actually be improved upon to improve our economy. How, how, how far so far with that also? Yeah, when you talk of our, our tourism potentials in the country, it's unbeatable. Are you going to talk about the Yankari Gens village mm. in Bauchi? Okay. Or the Komuna Light? Or the, 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 the statue of the King Jaja of Pupu? We have a lot of poor tourism potentials in this country. That is why I thank God for our president's vision he separated that tourism ministry from another one. He has yeah. a single ministry of tourism. Mm. And he has done another one. Mm. Ministry of Youth Development. I'm not always comfortable with all this uh, ministry of youth and sports. Youth mm -hmm. ministry should be separated from sports. Mm. Now we have ministry of tourism. We have to look at the tourism potential in our country. Mm -hmm. And how will you succeed in making money from tourism? There must be security. If you develop all the tourism sites in our good year, when Boko Haram are everywhere. If you improve in Niger, there's all good year. When there's insecurity everywhere. Mm. So you must put in place security if you want tourism to fly. Okay. It's not tourism is different from culture, mm. where you can only gather people to display okay. indoor or outdoor for some hours or for some time. But when it comes to tourism, mm. that particular site, is it a structural site, a waterways or man-made or natural, mm. you must have security, you must great road, you must do a lot to encourage people within and outside the country to come and view that place. You know, mm. tourism is yeah. a money spinner. Yeah. So before you do that, you have to build infrastructure and also make sure that you have security everywhere okay. to protect for, all those uh, for, tourists. All you've told us today on Good Morning Abuja, you've really enlightened us a bit, ways actually to improve our economy, our nation's economy. Thank you for coming on Good Morning Abuja. Thank you so much. We've been talking with Dine Waribo Uranta. He is the associate editor of VIP magazine Abuja. And together we've been talking about moving the nation's economy forward. And he has told us a lot about some of the sectors that actually need to improve to actually improve our nation's economy.